It's Monday, July 1st here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jun Ju and you're watching Korea Now. There's only one place to start today, the surprise face-to-face -face meeting between the leaders of North Korea and the U.S. at the inter-Korean border. At a seemingly spontaneous meeting at the Demilitarized Zone Sunday, U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un agreed to resume working-level denuclearization talks. According to U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he expects negotiations with the North to resume in mid-July. Changes have been made to the North Korean negotiating team following the collapse of the Hanoi summit. Kim Young-chul, who had been the regime's top nuclear negotiator at the Hanoi talks, appears to have been replaced. According to Pompeo, the North Koreans will be led by officials from the foreign ministry, although he did not elaborate further. There are speculations Vice Foreign Minister Choi sun will take charge. As for the U.S. negotiating team, it will be led by Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began. Trump has also hinted at inviting Kim to the White House, raising expectations for a breakthrough in the nuclear talks earlier than expected. North Korea state media was also quick to report on the impromptu meeting. The Korean Central News Agency said the two leaders held a historic meeting at the DMZ and Chairman Kim expressed great satisfaction over the results of yesterday's talks. BTS has topped a U.S. chart in terms of ticket sales from three countries in its recent world tour. According to Polestar, an American polling agency exclusively covering live events worldwide on Friday, the K-pop boy band secured the top spot on its Live 75 chart, selling an average of 51,106 tickets at each of their six sold-out performances at three stadiums in Brazil, the United Kingdom and France. This puts their ticket average more than twice that of the second-ranked tour. London's Wembley Stadium had the highest ticket count with 114,583, followed by the Stade de France in Paris with 107,328 tickets and 84,728 fans at Allianz Parque in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Polestar says with 12 shows of the 16-show tour already completed, BTS's box office sales currently top $78 million. A seventh LPGA Tour victory for South Korea's Park Sung-hyun. Park won the 54-hole Walmart NW Arkansas Championship on Sunday at 18 under 195, beating three golfers by one shot and earning $300,000. With the latest victory, Park is set to reclaim the number one spot in the world rankings, dethroning another South Korean, Ko Jin-young. And those were the top stories for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.